Hello YouTube, Sharps1874 here, and I want to talk about steel again today. I had some conversations over the weekend, well, not a conversation, but I was, um, um, I guess, texting with a, with a fellow on YouTube, com uh, communicating with a fellow on YouTube, and he had questions about AR500 and um, what he should be using f um, as far as um, a target for his, his gong. And um, he, his first question was, um, how much velocity would it take for, an, for a, a 223 round to go through AR500? And I said, well, there's really not enough mass to one of those bullets to go through. Um, AR-500, um, at least not three-eighths or half-inch or anything like that. So we, we communicated back and forth, and so I thought I would just share some information. So it's important that you get the right thickness. This is a three-eighths gong, okay? And I've shot it lots and lots of times, but... You see this guy right here, there's some pitting. You can actually feel an indentation there and there. And that one's a really deep one right there. That's probably, well, not quite an eighth of an inch deep, but there's a, definitely a, a crater there. There, see how that is? Look at some of these others. Okay, so what caused that? Well, I was out shooting with some um, with some neighbors, and I didn't realize that when we were shooting at the gongs, that my neighbor had brought his 7mm mag. And as uh, as you'll see in just a minute, when I put up some data on this, on the screen, 7mm mag, you don't use 3/8 steel. You need to use half inch steel if you're at a hundred yards or less. Um, maybe even one to two hundred yards, we'll have to look at the data. Then you want half inch steel. Here is my half inch steel gong. And it's got some some issues as well. There's a, a little bit of a crater here. And let's see. And there's a little bit of a crater here, and that one's a, a pretty big crater right down there. Let's see if you can... There, there's a good shot of it. That was not by a 7mm mag. That was a 338 Lapua. And it was probably between 1 and 200 yards that we were shooting the Lapua at this. And um, we shouldn't have been, because there's a certain amount of energy, a certain amount of velocity with the different types of rounds. And, uh, well, excuse me, um, here's the Mexican I had last night. Food, Mexican food. Um, if you uh, followed my uh, one video where I show my 24 by 24 gong, it's 3 8 inch steel. I shoot my 338 Lapua with at that target, but I have to be over 300 yards. And if I'm over 300 yards, there's not enough velocity or energy hitting the target to actually pit it. So I was shooting at 500 yards, 525 yards, and yeah, all it did was just. Um, it scuffed the paint off, that's the only thing that it did. So, with a 3 8 inch target, if you're far enough away, you can get away with shooting just about whatever you want. So, let's look at, um, let's look at some charts. The data that I'm showing to you is from the Shooting Target 7 website, used with their permission. I am not... Um, uh, full disclosure, I get nothing from Shooting Target 7. I, I, I buy my targets from them, 
and they have this promotion that if you buy a target or if you refer a friend, you get this little tiny three inch um, target for free. Um, that's that target is so small, it's really good if you're at like 50, 75 yards and you got a scope. Then, then I'm pretty good at hitting that, but yeah, long distances, yeah, it's just too small. But anyway, so let's look at some data and we'll come back and talk some more. This first chart, uh, you can take a look at the particular uh, pellet or rifle caliber or shotgun shell that you're using and decide what uh, thickness of AR-500 you need. This chart shows you muzzle velocities at 100, 200, and 300 yards. Encircled is the 338 Win Mag. Notice that it's 2120 and 2505 for energy. That's important when uh, as you select the type of AR-500 thickness that you want. So 3 8 AR-500 is good for 700 to 2100 uh, foot-pounds of energy. Um, you're right on the edge if you're uh, shooting a 3-3-8 uh, th uh, Win Mag. Okay, so from the data, you can see that a um, 338 Win Mag at 300 yards has energy in foot pounds around 2100. And um, 38 AR500 is right there on the borderline at 300 yards. It will accept right around 2100 foot pounds of energy and um, without damaging the AR-500. So if you're going to use 3 8 on a 338 Lapua, you got to be far further than 300 yards or you need to move up to half inch. Um, but my uh, 24 by 24 target is 60 pounds at 3 8 At half inch, it's not only is it uh, really heavy, it's, <laughs> it's quite expensive. So Hope that um, answers your questions on um, AR-500. Uh, take a look at the charts, decide what you need. If you're just doing pistols, yeah, you can get by with some really thin AR-500 and you, you're going to be able to shoot it, repaint it, and um, uh, not have any issues. But just as a, um, as a uh, suggestion, Put down a coat of this first. This adheres to the, the base metal quite well, and then you can put basically whatever color you want on top of that. So these targets that I just showed you, I'm going to spray paint these white. I'm not going to sand them down. I'm just going to spray paint them white, and then I'll uh, put my orange spray paint over top of that, and my target will be great. So look for some links down below uh, to shooting target 7. There's a number of people who, who uh, sell AR-500. I found these folks to be very easy to work with. Uh, this is not a paid endorsement. This is just the way I see it. So, I'm Sharps1874. I thought you might like to know.